Hey everybody, I'm back again for what shouldn't exist of another part of my How to Create Your Own Windows 7 tutorial. Yeah, I originally thought I was done with this, but a dilemma came up and I kind of want to solve this for anyone else who has the same form of a problem. And this problem is the screensaver. Some people cannot seem to download the screensaver. So instead of sending you guys individual messages, I figured I'll just post up this video now to get it out of the way for anyone who comes up with the can't download this software problem in the future. So what I did was after doing some research, I ran into the iEasy screensaver, which is over here. And it's not like WG screensaver because it's not free. It's a free trial, which means you only got 30 days to use this, not lifetime. You can probably buy it if you want, but honestly, I really wouldn't. So, what you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to go to your web browser and go to www.dd2002.com. Now, what this will do, it should bring you here. <clears throat> Just go to download. or home apparently yeah just go to download and click the get it free now which should bring you to the this page and or if you don't want to do that I believe you just gotta click the home button click the download my bad, excuse my language. Just click the download free trial and you shall get the free trial button. Or free trial download. Should have said that first. My bad. I'm kind of tired. Excuse my language as well. So, what you're going to do is once you download it, you're going to want to double click it to open it unless it automatically starts up when once you're finished downloading. <clears throat> I'm going to pause. No need to pause the video gonna want to do is have this thing load up and it will look like this for the free trial just click cancel doesn't really need to do anything just close the tip of the day and this is what you're gonna be working with now for the sake of this I'm gonna call this one my screensaver 2 because I've already made went ahead and made a screensaver to test this out and as you can see you got the little preview button right here which shows you what it'll look like and you can preview it while you change it now you got the opacity which is basically the density of it to show if you can't see through it to see through it um you got a title image so you can have titles and images just floating all over the place but for what well, this one we'll just keep it all the way the opacity I believe up to here and just click the solid color what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to if you want you can ignore the moving mouse but I really just don't do that so you're gonna want to click on next <clears throat> in the foreground objects this is the most important part because what this is it's just basically what your screensaver is going to be now you can add an image you can add images or add flash both methods are the same for the WG screensaver if you watch that part if you've watched those, the same thing is the same. Just convert the videos to SWF and just click it. We're going to add a flash because I think this one's a little more needed, maybe. Because for adding pictures, all you got to do is add a picture. For this one, we're going to choose the wildlife flash file and click open. As you can see, the thing will load up eventually like how it has done now and yes it will play let me uncheck this okay as you can see it was playing and by unchecking the preview you have not played it and by checking it you have played it once you figured out what you want to do you click next now this one will be the position right here of the um screensaver you can have it fly in screen where you know it'll just fly in screen and stuff stretch to fit screen zoom to fit screen random in screen or just in center 
over here would be the delay where you can change it to however you like it this will be the delay between images as so says the images delay the transitions will be what will happen between the pictures the speed and the delay is what will make it go fast and the time in between but for right now we won't mess with those you're gonna wanna click on next and yeah just click on next the background music I would actually only do this if you're converting an SWF that had no audio or you're using a picture that had that you want to add music to unless you're doing that we're not going to worry about the add background music but what you're gonna do is click on the add background music and select from any of those formats okay now once you've done that just click next you don't really need to worry about this if you want to you can but we're not going to and just click the finish button preview if you wish now how do I stop this thing from previewing? No. Okay. So let me just. Okay, whatever. So what you're gonna do is, as you get this, you're not going to click to save your screensaver, and you're not gonna create create a new screensaver. You're gonna go over here and click the install your screensaver. Just click it. Okay. Apparently you do gotta save it first. You gotta save your screensaver, then install it. By clicking the install your screensaver. As you can see, it will load up. Hurry up. This video is annoying the hell out of me. Okay. And from here on out, the steps are self-explanatory. Just click OK. And that's all you gotta worry about. Alright. You're gonna exit out and just click cancel unless you really wanna buy the software. Thank you for watching this video and goodbye.